Hey everyone, where we last left off, we were talking about basic logic in C-sharp and how we can use if-else statements or conditional statements in order to uh, test the value of variables and actually uh, check whether a condition has been met or if an instance is uh, true or not. And in this video, we're going to introduce loops, more specifically while loops. Uh, after this video and the next one, we'll talk about for loops, which is a, a little more in-depth and a little, a little more detailed. But um, while loops are fairly basic, so let's, let's dive right into those for now. Uh, just create a new project, call it what you want as usual, dealing with Windows Forms application. And uh, you're going to need a label, a numeric up-down, and a button for now. Whoops. Excellent. Double clicked on the label. <laughs> oh, and I double clicked on that as well. My bad. Alright, so resize the numeric up down so it's able to hold three numbers, three characters. And resize the button and change the text on the button to go or something similar. And the label can say something like print hello x times. And just uh, resize it so it looks nice, I suppose. Check and make sure that the maximum value on this is set to 100. We don't really need it to go over 100 in this case. Right. So, also change the decimal places. Um, make that set to 0 because we want it to be an integer. Um, and that should be good. That should be good. All right. Now then, what we want to do here is whenever this go, whenever this go is is clicked, we want it to output hello as many times as we have put in here. We want it to pop up a message box and say hello. Uh, in multiple lines as however many times we put in here in, in this box so if we put five in here we want it to say hello 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 so go ahead and double click on go and we're brought into our familiar button one click function and we're going to create a while loop now it's fairly simple it's just like creating an if statement it's just while and then condition and then brackets to include whatever uh, code you want to execute um, each time this is looped. So the condition can be just like any if statement. It's while and then this is uh, this condition is met. So for instance I could uh, compare a value using equals equals or um, greater than or equal to and stuff like that. It, it uses all the same operators as the if statement. Uh, everything works the same. It's just looping over and over again. So what we want to do is we want to take the number of time or the number of times as in uh, the value of this numeric up down and we want to compare it to a count that builds up consistently or continuously so first let's create our count variable and we'll set it to zero and basically this count is going to increase every time this while loop is executed every single time this loops so we want it to do count plus plus and that basically just adds one on to count each time this is looped. And then we want to, for our condition, say while count is less than numeric up down one dot value. So as long as count is less than numeric up down one value, aka this number right here, then it will add a new message on or add another hello onto the onto the message. So let's create our message variable. String message equals a blank string. And let's uh, just take message and add on a hello every time this is looped. And the easiest way to do that is do plus equals hello. And basically, this plus equals is as if you were taking the original message variable and adding on this string right here. So it would be the equivalent of saying is equal to message plus hello slash n. It's just much easier to type out. 
So I would definitely recommend that. And um, so basically, each time this is looped, it adds a hello on and it adds it to the count. So it starts out as zero, and the first time it loops, it turns into one, and we have one hello. It loops back around again, and then the second, and then it adds on another one, so it becomes two, and then adds another, another hello. And it keeps doing that until its value is equal to the numeric up down one value. So until it has reached the amount of times. So for instance, if we were to put in a three into this. Uh, until this count gets to three, it's going to continue looping around and adding another hello on. And once it's uh, finished its loop, we want to output this message in a message box. So let's just output message. And now we can test it to see if it's doing what we want it to do. Um, if we put in a five, it should output, not 54, it should output five hellos. Hello, 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 hello. And as you can see, it works fine. If you put on a zero, it should put none. Two, it should put out two. And you get the idea. So as we can see, it is working. It is looping through each time, adding a new hello onto the message. And um, you can do this with anything, really. You can just uh, compare values. And um, one thing I would be careful with is uh, if you have a loop that continues going, forever like for instance if count never increases it's going to continue going because count is always going to be zero and it's always going to be less than the value you input unless you input zero to begin with and if it continues looping forever it's going to crash the program is going to crash so you definitely do not want that <laughs> right so how can we make this more dynamic well what we can do is we can input a message box, or not a message box, text box, my bad. And this text box can, uh, instead of just printing hello, we can print um, the text box. Yeah, just leave it like that. And basically, um, the only the way we can do this very easily, very simple, is we just replace hello with the text box value. Or in this case, text box text box does not have a value property, so it's actually uh, text box one dot text. That is our value property. In this case, numeric up down one has a value. Uh, text box one has text. So keep that in mind. If we go ahead and run it and we print it out now, there's going to be nothing. If we print it out five times, it's just going to be five, you know, blank lines because we haven't input anything. If we put in uh, Scott, for instance, it's going to print it out five times. So very easy, very very simple. Just a, a classic loop. This while loop will be will come in handy in pretty much any coding language. Uh, we're doing it specifically for C sharp, but it's uh, prevalent in I'd say 99% of the programming languages out there. So I hope you uh, learned something. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, and uh, stay tuned for more. Signing off.